Heading into the 2002 Top of the World Classic, there was no reason to predict the eventual outcome. No Division II club had ever won an eight-team Division I tournament. Making matters worse, UAF was coming off a four-win season. But in their first game of the tournament against Wisconsin Green Bay, the Nanooks roared with all the ferocity that a mighty polar bear should. Steve Town, Marquise Revels, Chris Smith, and Brad Olson all reaching double digits as UAF routed the visiting club 78-55 to advance to the semifinal round of play. The ante would be raised in the next game with UAF hosting Nebraska. In the biggest defensive battle of the weekend, the Nanooks prevailed, topping the Cornhuskers 64-61 in a contest that kept the Carlson Center crowd on its feet to the final buzzer. With that victory, the conversation started to spread all throughout the town. Could these kids do it? Could they win the whole thing? Man, it feels great. I mean, who, whoever thought we'll make it to the finals? You know, I know I was a thousand people out there that doubted us and we proved them all wrong. And, uh, now we're just ready to take the whole thing on. As one would expect, the building was rocking for the finale against Weber State, and it would explode when early in the first half, Brad Olson got a breakaway dunk off the Chris Smith steal. The Nanooks pouring it on, Steve Towns three, helping the team to a 42-36 halftime lead. And that lead would only grow in the second. Marquise revels with the layup here. Steve Town driving the lane for an and one. The Nanooks making history. They beat Weber State 77-65 to become the first Division II team ever to reach such heights, cementing their place not only in Alaskan sports history, but national sports history as well. You won a game last night, they'll remember it for 20 years. I said, if you win tonight, they'll remember it for 50. And that's the difference, you know, it's, it's, uh, that's a big boom. Charlie Sakaitis, Channel 2 Sports.